tree up and this is our tree skirt and Harlem took a nice what's a good way to say it number two he said he, <laughs> he gave us a nice he was the first one to give us a good you know what our Christmas you know what me and my wife Christmas present was shit what a what I wanted to say it nicely and you, of course you just blatantly oh. Throw a monkey wrench in there and just say the whole thing, right? The dog gave us a nice, uh, a nice present. present. <laughs> Which was his waist? <laughs> Better. And then what he said? Oh, maybe he thought it was a tree um, that's outside. That's why he went. And I will say, this is Harlem's first Christmas, first time seeing the trees up in the house. So I, I gotta say, maybe that's a reasonable, maybe that's reasonable why he did that. But of course, my nice tree skirt is now. Woody tried to clean it up, but it has a little stain. But, ah, say I sorry. You didn't mean to do that, did you? The I sorry. Yeah, you can put some obey. You can put obey on the I don't want no good things. You can have half of this, jeez. And she's not thinking about me, but yet you see what I'm doing. I'm thinking about her on my way home. I was thinking about what to eat for me and my, what me and my baby can eat. When I came in the house, she ate, she even asked me if I wanted something. I had leftover food. And obviously leftover it wasn't food. a lot because I'm still sitting here now trying to make a grilled cheese sandwich. Leftover food. We got the wrong grills to the wrong stove. Why do you use the back of the bread? We don't, do we have any other piece? Thank you. Hush. Be easy on the salt. Don't do the salt. So I let you put it, you, you mix it up for me and I can just put it on the No, you're going to sprinkle each thing on there, one thing at a time. Take one of those pans, open up the fish from the plastic. You can rinse them off with some lemon. The girl put onion, this, she put olive oil on the fish. She put this on the fish. You can do that too. She rubbed, she rubbed the fish in. And she, I'm gonna do all that. <laughs> Make sure you wash your hands. I made it clean. Okay. You need to start off with a clean surface. Meaning clear up all the stuff. Out of the of the thing, lay them where it's flat, 
and then you're gonna you're gonna slightly go over each go over the whole fish each season at a time on one side you're gonna do this onion powder garlic powder obey sasson then you're gonna do, mm -hmm. no do a smaller one and that we look at the bottom we use that when we use the sternals so i wouldn't put food on that When you're doing seasoning, you're not doing, um... You want a treat? Oh shit. I ain't no so far like that. Oh my god, buddy. Move. Jeez. Move. Move. Use a light hand. A light hand. Light hand. You don't gotta be so heavy handed. Mm. Yeah, no, I don't wanna kiss. You don't need no more of that now. Go to the next one. But I got to flip it in the back, though. You're going to do one side, and then you're going to flip them and do the other side. Uh, 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 pe pepper you don't really need, but lightly. Okay. You missing the tilapia on the sides, but okay. Now get a fork. Flip each one and do the same thing. Lightly, lightly drizzle the seasoning. You left-handed, so you need to go the other way. And the purpose of using the fork is not to you. The purpose of using a fork is not to use your hands. If you left-handed, you need to be grabbing it from this corner and flipping it back to yourself. Turn the fork the other way. Thank you. There you go. Do the same thing. Remember, the purpose of using the fork is you don't use your hands. You don't want to contaminate the food. So, babe, when I say something, when I say... Something to the effects of the enemy versus the enemy. What do you what do you interpret that to be? Self versus yourself. Yourself versus yourself. Tequa versus Fidel. Tequa versus Fidel. So, Tequa versus Sasha's fears. Okay. You don't need a lot of that. Anywho. Just currently dealing with something in my life where it's not even something in my life is has something to do with something I'm involved in. You do know what I'm involved in. No, what are you involved? I want to put some of this on here. What? You don't want to try this? That doesn't really have like it's not a bold flavor. You can use it. What are you with your language? Anyway, I'm currently dealing this, with a situation where someone, you know, failed to take action and now feels as if the world is against them. Oh, I want need something to drink. And, you know, could say, oh, the devil this, the devil that. And it just makes me think that. The same way that there is cause and effect, like the same way where if you do something, you got to know inevitably that it's going to have an effect, you know, um, the same way that there's cause and effect with your action, 
is also cause and effect with your lack of action. Warm up the oven. The season, let the season sit on it at least for an hour, Woody. Uh, can I have a bite at least? Give me a bite. I can feed it to you. No, I don't want you to feed it to me. I just want to put that on camera. Y'all see that, right? Y'all see that, right? Y'all see that? That's husband neglect. Do we do we husband have, neglect? Do we have like something like ACS? They, they got it for children. Do we have something for like that for husbands? <laughs> No, it's called divorce. <laughs> you feel neglected. Yeah, but I'm not divorcing. Anyway. So, the same way that there's cause and effect when you do certain things, pretty much anything in life, if you do something, it's going to have an effect. The same thing exists when you don't do stuff. You know, like, when you don't take action, when you're supposed to take action, there's going to be an effect. In the church world, we talk about the sins of commission and omission, right? Sins of commission, things that you actually do, like you commit, right? And it has an effect. But there's also sins of omission, when you fail to respond, when you fail to act, when you fail to do what you're supposed to do, there's going to be repercussions. And then you can't get upset when you then feel like, oh, the world is against you. Oh, the en it's the enemy. <laughs> Not the enemy. It's the enemy. <laughs> The enemy is not the reason for everything that's going on in the world. Every bad thing that's going on in the world. Sometimes you got to take some introspection. Look at yourself. What you could have done better. I don't know. Again, just currently dealing with something that I'm like. Why didn't you take action? Why didn't you do what you know you needed to do ahead of time? Why do we have to get to this point in life where it's like do or die when you had grace period? What's your response? People work. People work well, really work when it's when things hit the fan. That's when people really work. They see it there. They'll work lightly on it, but once it really hits the fan, that's when they are really with it. Start to work it. It's like people work better when they panic you. Some people can, some people don't. Like me, I don't. I like to work ahead. Like if I see, like if I receive something ahead of time, I'm gonna mm -hmm. take care of it. Don't I not? I take care of it because I don't want it to. You didn't say yes, babe. Yes, babe. Yes, babe. You know, I like to take care of it ahead of time because I don't want that to be hitting the fan where it will, you know cost me more just like it's just like riding in the car if your alternator is giving you problems right mm -hmm. it is now going to your if it's giving you problems it's now going to start making the other parts that's not giving you problems work hard. Out. yeah we can out you know or mm -hmm. better yet don't work at all i got you you know what i'm saying there has been times where i was fixing cars where a lady was like, oh, I got this problem, this problem, this problem, that problem, this problem, that problem. And the main problem was one simple thing. So she went out and bought all this stuff. And when it was it, just when one, if one. she would have fixed one thing, it would have been everything. there. No, that's um, a good, that's a definite, that's a great you know, example. That's mine. That's mine, you know. That's a great example. You know, commentary on that. You know? no, that's a great example. Hand, I mean, think, handle things. Before Immediately. It hits the fan. Yeah. Immediately. Mm -hmm. Because then when things don't work out in your favor and you had time to work on it, you can't blame anybody else but yourself. But yourself. Exactly. I agree with you. Married to Matthews. Mm -hmm. When I saw a problem, I handled it with her. Because my problem was I was lonely, miserable. <laughs> 
shut up. You is not lonely. Distressed. You is not miserable. I was you, out there whoring. You horrid. was not distressed. All right, I was you're out doing, there you're doing, you're doing a little too much now. And then, and then the Lord. You're doing a little too much. Lord, you're doing a little too much. Lord, <laughs> I saw a flat. I saw the lightning flash between my eyes, and the Lord said, "You need to get somebody before you be out of here." I said, "Lord, who? Lord, who?" And thank God, He cut out my son down for this beautiful angel right here. Like, yeah, she gets on my nerves. I feel like, you know, but. <laughs> It's my woman. And every time I have a problem with her, I handle it immediately because I don't want it to hit the fan. Every time we get into an argument, who's quick to try to make amends? Hello? And who wants to hold on to it for just a day or two? <laughs> I don't. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, I don't know how it got to do. I don't know how this conversation got on us, but hey, let's talk yeah, about it. Yeah, because you put it there. Let's talk about it. You know, listen, normal couples going to argue and, you know, and fight. Argue for 10 minutes. Then start to understand each other's point, each each other's point, opinion, and all that. And then when it's understood, we solve it. And after you solve it, make love. Make love, not war. That's what I do every time we get into the argument. I, I hear a screaming, yelling, cussing me out. And then... I, I saw it. Then I make love. Mm-hmm. Like I'm doing now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know it. You knew that was going to get on my nerves. <laughs> That's why you did it. I want the whole world to know. I'm happy where I'm Stop at. eating my food. What's yours is mine. What's mine is yours. All That's right. it. Yes, wife. Anyway. But y'all be mindful. Yes. When you have an issue, something arises. Handle take care it. of it. Yeah. ASAP. ASAP. Because if you don't, it's going to tack on more problems. And exactly. that's going to tack on more problems. And it's going to be more difficult to resolve. And it's it could have been cost, just simple, just doing it three, four. It's going to cost you more money to resolve. It's going to take more time and more people's involvement that really shouldn't be a part of it. And it's not any of their business, but you're going to need their help. I agree. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't think so. See y'all later.